my favorite thing about being an athlete. I was kind of a nerd, so an athlete gave me a chance to be quote unquote cool. So that's what I really liked about it. My name is Jerome Singleton Jr. I'm from Irmo, South Carolina, and I'm a Paralympic track and field athlete. All I've known is missing a foot since I, I've been young. Even when I dream, I still have to put on a leg <laughs> to walk around each and every day. I had a birth defect, so it caused me to get my foot amputated at one and a half. Well, my parents, they, they were there for me from a young age. They actually came out to the sports with me. They actually really focused on academics. I learned that athletics, you could do it for a period of time and you can enjoy it. I said, but your mind's gonna take you to where you need to be later on in life. And they really instilled that into me, that drive and that hard work. When I left high school, I was one of the top 100 senior prospects <laughs> in South Carolina. I had a couple scholarships for athletics to play football. I said, but my full ride came from academics. I decided to, I guess, devote myself to my studies that first year. And after the first year, I was like, well, let me learn more about artificial limbs, like walking and running legs. So by looking up running legs, I came across an article on a guy named Marlon Shirley. He was a two-time Paralympic champion. He was a single leg amputee. I looked down, I was like, well, I only have one leg. <laughs> my dad told me that it's not about you. It's about the story. So I actually live my life trying to create a story. So if someone ever reads it, they can understand that it's possible. I know that in track and field, I can wake up one day and pull a hamstring. I'm no, I'm no good anymore. But your mind, you can always, you know, come up with new ideas, innovative ideas, and effectively help, help the world. So graduating with three degrees in six years in mathematics, applied physics, in industrial engineering, I'm capable of doing anything, and that's what I'm thankful for. I'm gonna do my best to be successful in all aspects of life. So hopefully when someone opens up the book and looks at Jerome Singleton, they know that he did the most he could with his time and gave back as much as he could too.